An early morning shooting has police looking for a man they say has a violent criminal history. And officers are now urging people on the east side of Dayton to be on the lookout. 2 News reporter Jake Wild digging deeper into that investigation. It happened around 6 Friday morning in the 400 block of St. Nicholas Avenue. There were some witnesses that uh, saw what led up to the, the shooting. Uh, apparently some dispute over some property. A man was shot once in the neck inside a home. The victim ran out of the home, went down Xenia Avenue and started knocking on doors. We spoke with a woman who says she heard the victim's plea for help. I don't know why this happened to him. She tells 2 News violence in the neighborhood has been so bad she didn't want her face shown or voice on camera. It's been so violent, like literally within a five block perimeter, I've pretty much been living in that perimeter my whole life. The violence marked by today's shooting is one reason why she decided to get a concealed carry license. It's scary to think I'm even carrying a gun, but. I have to. She says she doesn't feel safe in the area without it. Minutes after the victim knocked on her door, a good Samaritan stopped to help the man three blocks away in the 1000 block of Xenia Avenue. Good police work also helps, but it's the community that ultimately solves uh, the problems in the neighborhood. From there, the man was transported to Miami Valley Hospital. The neighbor we spoke with says she won't be sticking around to see another violent crime. I know a lot of people that I've known my whole life, and it's sad I have to say goodbye. Jake Ryle, 5 on 2.